good morning from Stratford. That's where I am. I'm in London. We are actually in London, plus the doggo. He's getting so big. We are here until Saturday, so kind of for the weekend, which is exciting. We're going to do some fun stuff, going to see some friends, maybe go do a bit of shopping because we don't have all the shops in Manchester. So that should be quite fun. But I'm also <laughs> about to go for a big transformation today. This arm is no longer gonna be this bare, that's all I'm saying. I am gonna do another video all about transformation because I'm not only changing my skin, I'm changing some other bits too. But I thought I'd let you know that there is a transformation video coming. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do a little vlog because we are out and about in my city for a few days and it's exciting. Um, right now we're gonna go for breakfast because I need some fuel and energy because it's gonna be a long ass day today. Tank top is from Topshop, it's quite old, it's really comfy. It's like ribbed and super soft. These trousers that look really bad in this light, they don't actually look as bad as this, are from weekday and then my shoes are just my new rock boots, baby. I know a lot of people don't like, but I think they're sick. They kind of remind me of the Balenciaga Crocs actually. Look at this bag. I am obsessed with this. My mum actually made me this for my birthday. She's basically a crochet queen. And I kept showing her bags like this and she surprised me for my birthday and it couldn't be more perfect. It's such a great size as well. I love it, so thanks mom. Let's go for breakfast. No. Good. Surprisingly. For the record, I tried to talk her out of it. No, you didn't. <laughs> you said you better do it or I'm leaving you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got done let's not show too much save it for the other video yeah just got done we're at mare street market which is like one of my favorite places in london east london hackney uh, i used to like live a walk away from here i miss it <laughs> we're just grabbing a bite to eat and my friend ben is gonna come meet us for a few drinks i'm literally like shaky what have i done <laughs> thank you so much Another day, another outfit. So I've got a little baby tee on from weekday. My skirt is, where is this from? Zara. My trainers are a birthday present and they are the Lanvin. I can't remember what they're called, but I am obsessed with them. They remind me of back in the day when I used to get like really chunky etnies because I thought I was a skater girl. We had a really fun night last night, got a bit drunk. And now we're gonna go head to the Stratford for some breakfast. Another one of my favorite places I used to go all the time, but it's literally a walk away from where I used to live. So yeah, we're gonna go head there. We both love it. They do really good brunch and they have the best olives. Hey guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's been over a week since that last clip you just watched. Um, definitely had every, wait, I, I need to address the fact that my hair is red. This will be part of the transformation video. I did it myself. Anyway, I didn't finish off the vlog the last few days I was in London. After that last clip you saw, we went for food at the Stratford, which was, I don't know what happened, but it was so disappointing. So we wanted to go for brunch because we love their brunch, but we weren't aware that the brunch was only on weekends. So I would still recommend it if you guys are looking for a really nice place to go for brunch. The Stratford Hotel, like the restaurant bit downstairs, um, definitely hit it up on the weekend and they do some really nice sodas as well. They have this like peach and jasmine soda water stuff delicious and i had a roasted pineapple one this time that was really good but the rest of the food was super disappointing yeah i don't really know what happened after that point i kind of took a turn apparently there's this thing called tattoo fever where you basically kind of get fever symptoms from getting tattooed but i don't think my tattoos warranted that because i don't know they're really small and it, i wasn't in the chair for like forever i was in the chair for a few hours on and off because we did one tattoo at a time to like get the placement right so i wasn't sitting there for hours like getting drilled by a tattoo gun and it, they're not particularly like big heavy painful tattoos so it could have been tattoo view but i don't think it was that um it also could have been just like a hangover but i also don't think it was that because i felt ill for the rest of the time i was in london and even when i got back to manchester so quite a few days or i could have eaten something funny but again usually that is like a 24-hour thing and then you're fine so i don't really know what happened 
but um yeah i was i was not well <laughs> we did still do a few bits i think the day of the last clip that you just saw we were gonna go shopping but i just wasn't feeling well and my boyfriend ended up having like an audition i chilled he went and did that and then we went to bone daddy's which is as you guys know my favorite restaurant my favorite ramen ever it's so it's so good if you've not been to bone daddy's yet and you are in london or live in london please go get a ramen it's so good so we did that and then the next day the next day we went to hampstead heath park it was beautiful weather so we took the pooch and just chilled out in the sun and then met up with two of my closest friends emma and hannah for like a brunch slash like drinks and catch up which was so nice i haven't seen them for ages um and i just i really miss my friends i really miss them so we had a nice little catch up and then i realized what time it was and we were meant to go home that saturday <laughs> on the walk to the train station i'm like babe to my boyfriend i'm like babe my stomach's not feeling too good but i was like no, no no i'll be fine i'll be fine like it feels really bad but I'll, i think i'll be fine um let's just rush back to the hotel grab our bags and grab a train also i feel like i've got adhd so bad why on saturdays is the last train from london to manchester at like 9 p.m make it make sense it's saturday night so yeah anyway i was like let's go back grab our bags and just get to the station so we can get home because i had loads of work on that i needed to get done and then we get to the train station the train that we could have got was cancelled and then the next one wasn't for 17 minutes so i'm sitting on the bench now like just chilling and i'm like babe i don't i need i need to find a toilet <laughs> This is so embarrassing, I can't believe it. It's TMI, but I'm gonna, I'm telling you guys. Thankfully, I managed to like run into a restaurant. None of the people working there noticed, and if they did, they didn't care. I was literally sweating, and there were two people ahead of me, and I was like, if I don't make it in time, this is gonna be like mortifying. <laughs> Thankfully, I managed to like keep it together, and yeah, I, I'm so glad that I managed to get into that that restaurant because <laughs> if i'd got on that next train there's no way i would have been able to make it home without something really embarrassing happening so so that's 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 that um i can't believe i've just told you that but that's what happened so by the time we got back to the hotel there was no way we were making that train so we booked another night in a different hotel because that hotel wasn't the most comfortable hotel to stay in and then we ended up leaving the next day we stayed basically where i used to live there's a couple of hotels there so i took bronson to the park that I used to walk pierre which was so nice and he met loads of doggos yeah it was nice it was really nostalgic it was a moment and then yeah we just got the train back came home i still did not feel well for like another week i just couldn't get myself together and, and now we're here <laughs> but yeah i just thought i'd get you guys up to speed because you guys are probably thinking where the hell is the rest of the vlog the london vlog but um yeah i, I was not up to vlogging so i apologize it's so annoying as well because i was so excited to vlog and it was such beautiful weather and like i saw all of my closest friends and i was just so happy to be there in fact when we got in the cab to go to euston station to get the train i i felt like I was gonna cry, like I didn't want to leave. <laughs> um, I really miss London. I am going completely off topic now. I think I'm gonna order a Burger King, the vegan nugget. To be honest, all of the vegan stuff from Burger King is so good. So I think I'm gonna order a Burger King and I'm gonna watch a movie. As you guys know, I'm part of Sky Cinema Club, which means I get early access to all the Sky originals and like blockbusters that are on Sky Cinema. And I can share my thoughts and feelings with you, do like little reviews and stuff. And I, I'm loving it. Cause sometimes I'll be scrolling trying to find something to watch and i'm just like i don't know what to watch and i love that like there's just so many options on sky cinema and i love the fact that there's sky originals as well and every sky original that i've watched so far has been so good <laughs> so hey guys so you guys are gonna have to work with me here we're gonna have to try and pretend that uh I'm still looking how I looked in the last clip that it's night time and I'm about to watch a movie <laughs> Unfortunately, my laptop was just done and when I went to edit the footage I lost the clip of me talking about what movie I'm gonna watch and I lost talking about the movie afterwards So here we are doing it all over again. So this evening I was actually going to be watching spider-man no way home I'm just gonna roll the following few clips and then stay tuned for my review I don't know why but it never lets me order nine vegan nuggets look won't let me order it oh i don't want six and i don't want 20 so what do i do <laughs> maybe i'll get six nuggets times two one more please thank you large fries she secured it
Hello. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Brunson's been jumping up on the sofa by himself for a while. He's looking at me like right now like, who are you talking to? <laughs> He's been able to jump up on the sofa for a little bit, but he never used to realise that he could actually do it. And now he's actually clocked. Wait, I can just get up here by myself, so I need to be extra careful. Also, you may be wondering what this is. <laughs> if you don't mix mayo and barbecue sauce to eat with your chicken wings, chicken wings? Chicken nuggets. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna attempt to eat all of this because I've got to do it for the gains, baby. I'm trying to get a ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tuck in and watch this movie. I've decided I'm gonna watch it in here just because I've been having trouble sleeping. I'm trying to like separate the bedroom from like work and other stuff. I just want the bedroom to be somewhere where I like chill out, read, sleep. I'm getting the, the wildest amount of deja vu right now. This is so weird. I almost did it, guys. Do you hear this noise? Every night. Every night. It's 10 p.m. There's also constant alarms going off throughout the day and night, which you can still hear faintly even when the windows are closed. There's also like a rave club kind of place. I don't know exactly where it is, but through the day and the night, because they do like day parties as well. When it's all of these things combined all day, every day, and also fireworks all the time. But even in the daytime when you can't see them or you see a smoke, I don't, make it make sense please because I don't understand. I feel like I haven't slept properly in six months. <laughs> Would have absolutely demolished it, but two of the vegan nuggets were rock solid. What's that about Burger King? I feel kind of still hungry. I never feel full from like fast food. I don't know why. I guess because it's not really like nutritious but it was delicious nonetheless. Ow, <laughs> don't bite my nose. So the movie that I watched on Sky Cinema was Spider-Man No Way Home, which is the new Spider-Man. Not gonna lie, I've seen it before, but I had to watch it again because I freaking loved it so much. I feel like not many of you guys will know this, but the Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire in it used to be one of my favorite movies. Like I know that film inside out. And I feel like any other Spider-Man after that has never really, it's just, it's never hit the spot in the same way until this one. This latest one was absolutely amazing. I wasn't really sure what to expect going in because I didn't love the last few, but it was so good. So like detailed in the way that it like referred back to previous movies. There was a really funny reference to a really funny meme. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you guys know what I'm talking about. I just love the whole idea of like touching back on the old movies because it's super nostalgic. Like it was something I watched growing up many times. It was just so fun. There was so much action and it looked incredible as well. A lot of like great humor in it. The cast was unbelievable and i'm a huge fan of both tom and zendaya and them two as a couple <sighs> lord have mercy on my soul <laughs> they're just so cool so yeah like alongside all the references to like just spider-man as a whole the movie also brought back like pretty much all the original villains which was so special i don't know i just felt like it felt like kind of wholesome I don't know, that's, if you are a Spider-Man fan, if you've been watching Spider-Man since like the Tobey Maguire days, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, I would 100% recommend for all you Spider-Man fans out there. But also if you're not really a Spider-Man fan, I would still like a million percent recommend this movie because as a whole, it's just a great movie. I just love how there seems to be so much going on in the movie, so many characters, but somehow it all kind of just works seamlessly. And you guys, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while and my like reviews, you guys will know that I'm not always a fan of remakes. And I've said this about this specific movie as well, but this sequel, I guess, just unbelievable. Definitely one of the best movies that I have watched in a long time and i'm pretty hard to please like i enjoy movies but this was like it was art it really was so much so that i watched it for a second time <laughs> i find it hard to believe that anybody will say it was not a good movie even if it's not your thing i just don't think it's possible to deny that it is a great movie <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I need to put the um, mic back on. Uh, Don't know where the hell that is. I've had to pile loads of stuff on top of stuff because the dot. Oh, Look what he's done since we got back, or before we got back when we were out. He's only gone and chewed the skirting board and bitten off the wall. Are you okay? Well, I can't find the microphone for now, so I'm gonna have to just deal. I'm sorry. Why is it tracking the tree? Oh, there we go. I look wild with my hair. We just come back from seeing a friend's dance performance. It was so cool. And then we went to a place called Hatch. Had some food, had some drinks. Oh my God, I had a strawberry beer. If I, if I find the name, I will write it down for you on this video or like down below. It was so nice. So yeah, that's what we did. Got a little bit chilly afterwards as well. So we had to come back home. And also we have a dog. <laughs> Not forgetting the dog. Now we're just gonna chill out. I have a vegan pecan pie kind of thing that I took from the restaurant we were eating at. So we're gonna enjoy some seconds. Yeah, and just hang out. It's been a really nice day. Got some more fun stuff planned for tomorrow. It's a friend's birthday, so yeah. We're actually doing some things, woo! Not just being OAPs in the house. <laughs> we are tired. It's actually quite late. I feel like it's nearly 11, so <laughs> nearly quite late, wow. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, you guys can't even see me, it's so backlit. Um, I think I, oh, I thought that was poo, it's a toy. <laughs> I think I showed you guys what Bronson did to the wall. If not, I'll put some clips in now. I've had him for like just over a month now. Uh, excuse me, sir. And as you guys can see, he likes to chew everything. So the flat is a mess because we have to pile stuff up on top of each other, like high enough that he can't reach it. Cause some of the storage things are open and it's, Frustrating, it's not good for him. He's like destroying the flat, which isn't mine. Let's just pray to God I get my deposit back. But I also think just for his learning and for him feeling like he's got a safe space, it's better for him to have a crate. So I ordered him a crate and it's just arrived. I'm gonna put it together. I've never crated a dog before. Bronson on the other hand is extremely stubborn, but also really curious. I think it's cause he's super smart as well. So he just wants to like, I don't know, figure everything out, which is not good for his safety either really. If he gets a hold of the wrong thing, like I don't know what he's gonna go for next. I try to be as safe as possible, but it's just getting too much now. And also like he's able to now get up on top of the coffee table and pull things off. He was like chewing up my lip balm and stuff like that. So it's getting to the point where he needs like a crate and to understand that he needs to just chill and have a safe space so that he doesn't first of all hurt himself or like ingest something that isn't safe for him or like break off, I don't know, the lid of my lip balm and choke on it. So yeah, that's what's happening today. However, I'm not gonna lie, the crate looks ginormous. I got a medium, so it'd be good for him to grow into it, and they didn't have, like, the medium was the smallest size. I'm hoping there's, like, padding around it, because it looks pretty big. I'm gonna wax the knife out for this one. <laughs> See what I mean? He wants to come straight away. Like, this could hurt you, bub. Even when I've got, like, straighteners on, or, like, my clothes steam, like, he'll literally put his face right into it and try and lick it. So, he just needs to understand that there are boundaries. When we say no, we say no. When we tell you to stay in your bed, you stay in your bed. But obviously, he can't learn that in a regular bed because there's nothing to confine him and to make him understand, like, you need to stay in here. Sir, <laughs> move. 
Thank you. Oh my god, it's no, it really is this size. I mean, it's better for him to have more space, I guess. Oh, but he's only little. I do think he's going to be quite big for a Frenchie, though. He's only five months. He's got really long legs and his paws are quite big. I want to get him excited about it as well, so it's not like a... He doesn't think it's like a um, punishment. I want him to be excited about the crate, so... What's this? Oh my goodness! Me being who I am, I'm going to try and figure this out without having to read the instructions. Because I'm a lazy ass bitch. Okay, oh, there's like screws involved. No! What is this IKEA furniture? Hey, this is the thing as well. You can't do anything without him being all up in your business. I can't do my makeup unless I like put him in the hallway. So he'll just be all up in my business the whole time, like trying to destroy the makeup, trying to chew it. Oh god. For example, he'll now pick this up and take it and potentially choke on it, which we don't want. Sit. Good boy. Paw. Good boy. Boop. Thank you. Hey. No. Please just let me build your crate. He knows what's wrong and what's right, and he'll watch you until you're not looking and then do the damn thing anyway. He's so cheeky. And we know he knows what things means because when there's food involved, he's very willing to show, like, listen and show that he understands perfectly. Alright, let's get this door on, shall we? I, I don't, I don't, I don't need your help, babes. Thank you. Get you in your crate, baby. Keep you by the window. It's nice by the window, isn't it? Oh my god, this is huge. Get one in, babies. Let's get your bed the right way round. Oh, here you go. Good boy. Get it. Wow. Good boy. Wait. Good boy. Good boy. Close it and see how he does that. Good boy. He's doing well right now, but I think that's because he's distracted. I want to see how he reacts once he realizes that he's in there without any distraction. But hopefully that'll give me a bit of time to like tidy up. That's why I'm laying on the sofa so you can't see the mess everywhere. Just give me like some time and space to be able to do things without either stepping on his toes him picking up something dangerous, ruining stuff, um, and hopefully it will just teach him to like stay calm and just chill out because he just goes nuts all the time, like all the time. Good boy. <sighs> Hello. You wanna be in it, do ya? I've had this thing for like six or seven years now, I believe. Love it to bits, but it's literally on its last, last, last legs. I just went downstairs to the concierge. My new laptop has arrived. I'm super happy about it, but my bank account is not. But it was time. It really was time. I'm really trying to get some like videos and stuff out for you guys and get good content, but it's so difficult because my laptop would crash all the time. For this video, I lost a couple of files, which is so frustrating because I, I lost some clips that were like necessary for the video to flow, um, as you guys will have seen. It's just so annoying, but 
we move on to bigger and better things to be honest this has been a long time coming i should have done this probably like a few months ago <laughs> sir <laughs> sir off ah, ah, ah. no yeah you can have this go on good boy i should have done this a long time ago but hopefully now this means that i can like execute my videos the way i want to like some of the stuff i want to do it just takes too long or my computer crashes so i'm not really doing the most and i'd like to be doing the most god this feels bloody heavy though oh she's thick look at the difference oh my goodness oh my god the charge is different as well i've been living in the oh it's got a memory card slot and a hdmi slot i don't know how to to feel or how to act right now oh i think the screen on this is bigger as well wow <laughs> i'm here for it i'm here for it right i'm gonna go set this up and then i'm gonna friggin edit this video so you can watch it and look forward to actually vlogging properly again and being able to like edit at super speed <laughs> <laughs> or does anyone else only feel good in their gym gear now? Please tell me I'm not alone. Guys, it has come to the end of the vlog. I've literally just spent the entire day, apart from going to the gym, sweating my ass off. And I basically cleaned the entire flat, tidied the entire flat finally, and just finished off editing this vlog now that I've got my laptop. And it went so smooth. I'm obsessed. And it took no time and the battery life is incredible <laughs> so i'm super excited that i can finally get this vlog up i really hope you guys enjoyed it kind of a mix of things i've been doing in this one let me know how you feel i know a lot of you guys love the longer vlogs as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this one be sure to comment a dark moon face emoji like the full moon that's dark that's like i <laughs> can't even do it like <laughs> if you made it this far and yeah i just want to say i love you guys so much thank you guys for watching and go watch spider-man no way home if you haven't seen it already it's just too good to not watch it i'll see you guys in the next one until next time bye Mwah. <laughs>